What's going on everybody? Here's Pete back for another video of Skip It or Eat It. Although this is just episode number two. So you might be a little bit confused because I didn't even say the title of the series in my previous video. If you didn't see the last video, basically I am going to the highest rated places on Google, on Yelp, on everything. Basically the most talked about places and seeing if the hype is real. If it's as good as they say. Because I've been to places that haven't been as good as they say. Mind you, I've been to places that are just over the top amazing and I've uh, had orgasmic food. So today, I think I'm going to be going back on all my statements that I did in my previous video because I feel like this place that I'm at today is gonna be 10 times better than the previous place. It's called Gladiator Burger. <sighs> right there. I can just zoom in so you can you know looking at some of their instagram photos you're just like i just well if you saw them you'd be like i just need to go eat there or you tell yourself i can't eat there because um it's just too delicious for me so going into any place it's always hard to just pick one item so going into gladiator well you know i just did the easiest thing possible which was ordering the most expensive burger on the menu which happened to be called the unleash my hunger burger all right, so I didn't bother recording the ordering process and all that, but um, I showed you guys uh, as I came in. I was gonna get the Unleash My Hunger, and that's exactly what I got, and it just came up. So here is Unleash My Hunger. Check it out. So we got grilled cheese, I guess they call it grilled cheese buns, but they're just grilled cheese sandwiches. We got guacamole, bacon, we got pineapple, we got beef patty. This I'm not, I think, I'm not entirely sure what that is. I'm gonna have to check out the menu here. What do we got? Um, I think that might be the crusted. Yep, that's the crusted mozzarella cheese. Um, right here. And then we have a cheese, obviously, and then another beef patty. I feel like this is gonna be extremely greasy and some salsa at the bottom. And then obviously got some fries. I mean, it all looks delicious. They're gracious enough to turn down the music here because we all know that Fierce Pete doesn't have a good track record with music in his videos. I forgot my tripod, so naturally this ketchup bottle will be my tripod for today. No, it won't. Ah, yes it will. Maybe I got a brilliant idea now. I'm just going to go right here. So, we got Unleash My Hunger. It, it looks fantastic. Let's not kid ourselves. It looks bloody fantastic. Um, definitely, um, definitely not the healthiest burgers. I mean, I think all the visually appealing burgers out there are definitely not gonna be healthy. Let's see if we can get this full burger into my mouth so I have all the flavors combined into one. First, I need to undo the button in my pants. Make sure I am super comfortable. All right, here we go. Super pumped about this right now. <laughs> you know what? They do a good job in, I don't know, I think everything is absorbing into these buds, the grease. But it is, you can hold it nicely. I don't know about putting it all into your mouth nicely, but we're about to, we're about to try. Definitely not into my mouth. Mmm. That's a lot of flavors. Mmm. Wow. Oof. I wish that I'd be able to put my entire mouth into it in order to really, I guess, appreciate all the flavors. Mmm. I like the pineapple. Um, that has a lot of flavor. I feel like. The, the salsa and the guac are very um, powerful in here. You can really taste them. Mm -hmm. There's a lot happening here right now. I mean, it's really hard to decipher all the flavors. The fried mozzarella right here. That's awesome. Oh. 
I feel like I've seen this added to a lot of burgers. I feel like it almost um, overpowers the beef, where it's like you can't taste it. Mm. Everything tastes very fresh, especially the burger patties. You know, that I think uh, I think online they were saying that they were fresh, never frozen. That's very very clear. Especially you can kind of tell when when you're looking at a beef patty. Uh, if it is, you know, fresh and never frozen. I really should have just tried the most popular burger on the menu, which was like, I don't know, I don't remember exactly, like, here, I'm not gonna get up right now. I'll take a look in a second, but ultimately, I, maybe I should have had just that, because this is just like a lot happening. What's really coming out is the salsa and the guac. I feel like it's overpowering everything else right now. And, and all, all the other flavors that should be popping right now. But, I mean, that's just me. Um, the grilled cheese has a bun. Well, maybe it's just cheese buns. I'm not sure, I, I think it's just, I think it's just cheese buns that they, you know, are, that the burger sandwich in between. So I got the combo, got myself a pop, we went for a giant Pepsi because naturally whenever you have a greasy burger, you gotta lower the calories by having a Diet Coke or a Diet Pepsi. I got some fries. First fries are pretty good. They are really good actually. They didn't look so like, oh my God, but they're actually very tasty. Hmm. I'm pleasantly surprised. Because I just wanted to obviously get, I wanted to get just the typical side. I'm pleasantly surprised by the fries right now. They're very, very, very good. Hmm. Hmm. But what do they taste like? when they're dipped in ketchup? That's, that's, that's the ultimate question. Still good. To be honest, they're a little bit better not dipped in ketchup. I don't know what it is. I'm not blown away by this burger right now. It's not that it's not good. The ingredients are fresh. I feel like the combination the, the, the salsa uh, and the guac is just so overpowering the rest of the flavors of the burger that I can't really uh, enjoy the rest of it. That makes sense. Like, it's good, but I know I have two fresh uh, beef patties. I know I have pineapple in there, although I can taste the pineapple when I bite into it. I know I have grilled mozzarella in there, but I, I just, like, those flavors from those two ingredients, the salsa on the bottom and the guac at the top. The pineapple too, now that I'm getting it too. Overpower everything else. So I'm gonna come back here in another day really soon and do the gladiator because that is like, I feel like that's a very good uh, comparable burger to like a top burger in another place. I just went for like, you know, something crazy. But I feel like that's something that I should just compare to. Two beef patties, beef bacon, two slices of Canadian cheddar cheese, caramelized onions, tomatoes, lettuce, pickles, and gladiator aioli. That actually sounds banging. They said that that is actually the most popular item on the menu. It's ordered the most. So I am going to have to come back and check off a real proper burger review in this place. Okay. Uh, that about wraps it up of this episode of Skip It or Eat It. Eat it. Eat it for sure. But I think you're going to have to go for that Gladiator Burger. I think I think the, the crazy contraptions, crazy burgers, I don't know. Maybe it was just that one, you know, that just had the flavors just overpowering for me personally. But I really just, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to shoot another episode. Um, really, really soon. I might even come back here in like two days and I'm gonna film that Gladiator Burger 
and do a crazy side because they when I was leaving they were asking me how I liked it and everything but I told them straight up you know the truth about my problems that everything is delicious but overpowered by those two ingredients. It just, I don't know why it's bothering me so much. It's bothering me so much that this burger could have been next level awesome, but then that's all I, you know, was tasting when I was eating it as a whole. So uh, apparently they have crazy sides, some, some wild cheese fries and all that. So we'll get a regular burger and get some crazy sides next time, all right? We'll catch you guys later. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys like this type of series because to be honest, I I'm liking making it. I'm I really am. So uh, hopefully you guys like these videos. We'll catch you guys in the next one. You guys stay sexy, stay hungry, and of course get laid. Boom!